At the end of this video, you'll know a simple trick to sync your audio to video. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. If you want more filming and editing tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. One of the best ways to improve your video is to improve your audio. In order to improve your audio, you'll most likely be recording on a separate device and not directly through your camera mic. However, when you bring the video file and the audio file to Filmora 9, how do you sync it properly? In this two minute tip, I'm gonna show you. So start that timer. In order to sync your audio properly, you need to be prepared during the shoot. After your camera and audio recorder are recording, on camera, you want to make a sound that causes the audio waveform to spike. See what it did there? Even though it looks kind of funny, clapping your hand is a really good and easy method of doing this. Have you seen one of these? This is a clapperboard or a slate board, and it's commonly used in the film industry to not only mark a shot, but when it claps, it helps create the audio spike for syncing during posts. Every time you cut your shot, remember to clap on camera again the next time you roll. It's best to clap before you say action or begin speaking, so when editing, it's easy to find and sync. But if you forget, you can also clap at the end of a shot before you cut. That is called a tail slate. Once you're done your shoot, let me show you what to do in Filmora 9. First, find the video footage and bring it onto the timeline. Next, find the audio track for the same footage and bring it to the audio track beneath. A bit of renaming or organization when importing the files will come in really handy, especially if you're dealing with a lot of content. Now that both the video and audio clips are on the timeline, you want to find the moment you clapped your hand. You will see the waveform from your in-camera audio and your independent audio track. Here at the moment you clapped, we see the spike. Take the independent audio clip and align it so that both the spikes match. If you don't have in-camera audio, you want to match the audio spike with the moment your hand makes contact in the clap. Once that is matched, you can detach the audio in the video footage by right-clicking the clip in the timeline and deleting the detached audio. What you have left is the video footage and the good quality audio track you recorded separately. There you go, you have just synced your audio and video clips together. Is there an area of video editing that you're having trouble with? Let us know in the comments below and we might just cover it in an upcoming video. Until then, check out some of our most recent two minute tips. I'll see you there, keep creating.